Alright, what's going on, guys? So, needless to say, it is the 22nd of May, Sunday. I did little videos um, from Friday morning and then yesterday morning. And I haven't really kind of came up with any type of idea of how to post a video. Um, so what I'm going to do is just intro this video and throw the rest of them in after this one. Um, it's just little bits and clips and just goofing around. This season has been hard. This is... I'm, I'm actually speechless <laughs> when it comes down to it. Uh, we have gotten out and hunted at every time that we can hunt, you know, between a half hour before sunrise to noon. We've even gotten out a little earlier than that just to be set up and waiting, seeing how we went and as soon as it started getting light out, and kicked them off the roost, which made absolutely no sense to me. You know, different uh, decoy setups, running the time, not running the time, single hen, double hen. It's just been a really, really tough spring season. Um, next weekend is our closing weekend. The season closes uh, this uh, week from this coming Tuesday. And... Um, the family's going to the camp uh, for the weekend. I have to work the 11 to 7 Friday night, so I get out of work at uh, 7 a.m. Saturday. So I don't know if I'm going to plan a day trip and then finish out the weekend here, or if I'm just going to bring my hunting stuff with me and finish it up up uh, in the north zone. I've never hunted turkey up there, so that could be something a little different and uh, change the scenery. But uh, not to make this any longer... I'll roll in these other videos. Uh, it's nothing too special, but it's what uh, we came up with uh, this week in hunting. So check them out. Buggy wuggy woe. I don't know if I try something different. <laughs> anyway, we got my brother slash YouTuber Monster Bucks 2091. Right there. Out. If any real action picks up, I got the camera right there and the tripod. And of course, because I've got a little farther to go, that my brother got here at 5:30. I got here 10 minutes late, and uh, he said he heard him gobbling up over here, but that was. I'm 20 minutes late, but I just got further for drive to go. Anyway, hopefully, uh, the things pick up. We've been calling, but haven't heard anything. So we're just taking a look around and watching to see if we see any movement or anything from other people that we've talked to that have already gotten it down. It says that they're calling and waiting. And then they're just popping up. They're not calling, but they're coming in, so. We'll see what's happening. The uh, overcast is starting to break and the fog's starting to lift, so. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it turns out to be a productive morning. So, I'll check back in, uh, either way. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try something new. There's a Tom right there. He's gonna sneak up and he's gonna throw a bag over him. He has no idea he's there. <laughs> yeah, got a Tom in the bag. Well, folks, that's all she wrote for today. Got to pack up and uh, get ready to go to work. No, in actuality, I should call up work and say that I have fell ill with a acute case of anal blindness. And when I asked what that is for you guys that don't already know, it's where I don't see my ass coming into work today. But 
I can't do that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the anal blindness? I can call it where I'm on the train and we're crazy. Yeah, uh-huh. So, I thought you guys want to go for a ride. But, uh, yeah, who knows? I'll be at it again tomorrow morning. But, one goblin that was it. Same as the beginning of the season and every other day. So, I don't know. I can't even get this freaking thing clipped. Screw it, I don't even care. So, uh, yeah, not to make this uh, any longer, as usual. Take it easy, be safe, have fun, and uh, catch you tomorrow. Alright, so it's the end of the world. It is extremely foggy out. I want to say visibility is like maybe 25 yards. We got in about uh, 20 minutes ago. And uh, I hit the girl call. And of course, because I'm deaf, uh, I'm having some issues with my right ear. I can't really hear out of it. But uh, my brother heard a gobble off behind us in that little field. So we went into there and called a couple times and I hit the girl call again and didn't hear anything back. So we decided to say screw it because the, the weeds and the grass is getting really tall back there. And plus it's, it's kind of thick. Once he's done being grouchy, I told him just to take a nap and I'll wake him up when the fog breaks. <laughs> I figured I'd give him a nap time. Uh, now we just uh, sit and wait. So, I hope that this fog lifts pretty quick. Forty-five minutes has gone by. Haven't heard a damn thing. And the fog just seems to be getting worse. I don't know. I mean, it's one thing to not hear anything, but to, uh, hear a gobble and come in and then for over an hour not hearing any vocalization the zombies are coming from airplanes now ah touche so It's very discouraging when you spend a whole season and every day, I mean, there's another video that I posted, hunting is the same, but to every day, it's the exact same thing to where you hear one gobble and then that's it for the whole freaking morning. Night. I almost forgot to do my morning introduction today. Um, so today is May 22nd. It is a Sunday. It is 20 minutes to 10 in the morning. Um, I decided that uh, for finally one day off during this month that I was going to sleep in, since this whole month has been a blur and a big mix between hunting and working and hardly any sleep and uh, my bro is uh, pussy fucking around his house and he's not coming out hunting today so eh 
whatever, I can't blame him. Um, I'm getting to that point too where he can get out and he can hunt as hard as you know how. And if the birds don't want to cooperate, they're not going to cooperate. So, I don't know. I'm going to get out there and see. I'm going to try something different uh, today. And uh, that is going to be not taking my decoys. So I'm just going to go out, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to call a little bit, and see what happens. So, I'll catch you guys in a bit. So I've been out here for about 40 minutes. I seem to do that a lot. I'll do like a 40 minute check in. And uh, as you can hear, the wind's picking up. Now, I wore my rain jacket because it was overcast and it was cool. But uh, now, as you can see, we're getting blue skies. The sun's coming out. And I'm getting pretty toasty. However, I'm not going to take off my vest and take off my jacket. Because I have the feeling the way my luck's been going. If I do that, <clears throat> I'm going to get uh, caught with my pants down. However, it won't do anything with my pants. It will be that I'll have my gun up against the tree, taking my jacket off, and a big Tom will come out, see me, and I'll get busted. So, I don't know, <clears throat> I keep doing these little clips, but uh, I'm not really too sure how I'm going to post them up onto my, my channel. It's nothing too interesting, but uh, just so you guys don't think that I'm actually not out hunting and I get dressed up in camo, there's the Benelli, <laughs> there's the call. I don't think I've shown that I've actually had a gun with me <laughs> every time I've been out. <sighs> what what else to say? Oh yeah, about 15 minutes ago I heard two shots off in the other direction. And I know right whereabouts it'll probably be. It's about it's uh, three fields over on the opposite side of the the hillside here. And it's about the only other turkey hunter that we've seen out this season. Um, so, I don't know. We got another uh, 15 minutes until 11 o'clock, and that's when they say that they come out. This is the second time I'm going to be at this location at 11. Um, I think, however, if I don't. Uh, if I don't see anything or hear anything by 11.30, I'm going to call it a day. Only, it'll give me, you know, a half hour time to work the edge of this field up to uh, the other setup that we've been at, where it's got the two fields with the hardwoods and the pines on each side. Just so that way, by the time I get there, it'll give me a 15 minute window to where if I see anything, I can uh, still try to maybe put them down. But... Play it by ear, I guess, and see how it goes. So, other than that, I'm gonna sit back and uh, enjoy this nice, hot, uh, nice weather and be a little hot.